manufacturing, Hertfordshire, lies on the A41, between Aylesbury and Berkhamsted. We know that there was a church here in Norman times. The church was rebuilt in the early 13th century and enlarged in the 14th century when new, wider aisles were added, and the tower. As is normal with such buildings, it has been fiddled about with, over the years sorry, updated and improved, with major restorations. Between 1861 and 1882, Local building materials used were rough flints and blocks of tottered house stone. Now, how about these four water spouts? We will have a look shortly at those at the top of the tower. At least they do not have the devil himself up there, like at Woburn. Oh. I don't know though, perhaps this is the devil here. On the west door, at the bottom of the tower we have two bishops. The Bishop of Lincoln at the date the tower was built, and the Bishop of St. Alburns, at the time of the 1880 restoration. The overall uniformity of this church building always strikes me, and this is no doubt in large part, due to the Victorian restoration. Tring is situated at the place where the Icknailed Way is crossed by the Roman road, Ackerman Street, and it is believed that there has been a settlement here since Roman times, and before. There was certainly a church building here at the time of the Norman Conquest, and probably much earlier. Aunt Phyllis, wife of Lawrence Washington, was from a Tring family, and upon her death in 1655, was buried here. Their son, John Washington, emigrated to America. His grandson, George, became the first President of the United States. You can see that the corbels, here, have an interesting variety of creatures carved on them. These round columns here, attached to the arcade supports, are in Portland stone. They replaced previous ones of Tottenhill stone, in the 1880 restoration. I believe some of the old columns, were allocated to Long Marston Church, not far away, and some to St. Martha and St. Mary, nearby in Tring. The big house on the other side of the high street, called Tring Park, in the 19th century, the home of one of the Rothschilds, was, in the 17th century, home to the Gore family. And this is the memorial to Sir William. In about 1715, his son, Jean, arranged his own restoration of this church. He had the floor relayed throughout, in stone, furnished the nave with box pews, and had the stone columns painted to look like blue marble. So much more happened here, than we've been able to mention. In the 19th century, Tring became a Rothschild town, one legacy of which, is the Zoological Museum. A. John Brown, who was born in Dorset, moved to Tring in 1826. He was joined, later, by his brothers. John Brown founded Tring Brewery, and his younger brother, William, founded a land agent business, still going today, as the estate agents, Brown and Mary. In 